The Tesla Model 3 is selling phenomenally well, and there are so many out there, especially concentrated here in the Bay Area. Everywhere you turn is another Model 3, and with such few selection of colors, how does your car stand out amongst the masses? That's the issue that I ran into recently and have been dealing with constantly. So I wanted to give mine a little bit of uniqueness. So I decided to reach out to some brothers for some help. This is the DIY Chrome Delete Kit for the Tesla Model 3. Now, what is Chrome Delete? Well, Chrome Delete is exactly what it's called. You're taking the chrome of the car and essentially deleting it with vinyl. Now, the standard and what most people do is black vinyl. They remove the chrome and they replace it with black vinyl. It gives it a nice clean look. It removes the mirror chrome-like finish, which can be prone to scratches and chips and so forth. Now, there are a couple different options. Some, and I commend you, do this completely on your own. They buy the vinyl, they cut it to size, and they apply it all by themselves. Some people go to shops to get it installed. I recently got quoted $1,000 to have a chrome delete done, which I thought was very expensive. In comes Tesla Bros with their fully DIY kit, pre-cut instructions readily available and easy on YouTube with their videos, all in a nice easy package that looks just like your frunk. Very creative, guys. In any case, I reached out to them and asked for something a little bit different. I didn't want to go with basic black, but I wanted to go with something a little bit different, but still stay subtle. So I decided to go with a dark gray. I think the dark gray gives the white a beautiful finish, and I reached out to them and asked for their help. They custom made me this dark gray kit with a little bit of something extra. I'll show you that soon. In any case, I wanted to talk about this kit in case any of you are looking to differentiate or give your Tesla a more unique look. I was very impressed with this kit. It was super easy to apply, and after installing it, I asked several people who all thought it was a professionally done job. This is something that most can do. It's easy to follow the directions that Tesla Bros have published as videos on their YouTube channel, follow it, apply it. The two key things that I would call out with vinyl and chrome delete is to move slowly, take your time, and make sure it's exactly how you want it to look before sticking it down. With vinyl, you can lift it and move it until you're happy with the placement before rubbing it down or using a dryer or heat gun to really stick it down. Now, my experience is I started with the back triangle window. That's the piece that they recommend you start with. And after doing that, I felt really confident that I could do the rest. It felt very easy. It felt like just following simple instructions. Inside the box, you're gonna find every piece of the car labeled. The back window, the upper chrome trim, the lower chrome trim for the driver and passenger side. You're gonna find the door handles, as well as the Tesla logos. You're also gonna find what I thought was gonna be the hardest part, which is the mirror, the most complicated, curved, convoluted piece of chrome that's on the car. But actually, and I'll get to this a little bit later, it was the easiest piece to install. Anyway, going through the kit, it's really about following the instructions that Tesla Bros have provided about how you adhere, which side you line, which side you tuck, moving slowly, lining things up, and taking your time. This took me over the course of two nights, just coming down into my garage after dinner and taking my time with the Chrome Delete and applying it slowly. No special tools are needed. There's nothing to take apart. A lot of these guys who get it done outside and a lot of uh, DIY Chrome Deleters actually end up taking the mirror apart, which does result in a better wrap job but I was very impressed with this as I got a similar, if not exact same job without having to take anything apart. There's no taking part of the door. There's no taking part of the mirror. Everything is done with no tools. The only tools that you'll need are provided in the box, which is the these squeegee and these tuck in plastic pieces that help you to help tuck the vinyl in into crevices and corners to give it that really smooth, sleek look. 
Now, as you look over this video and you're looking at the install that I did, you'll see it's really good. It's smooth, there's no bubbles, and a lot of that was due to the time and patience that you take with it. It's not hard, it's just, do you have the patience to do it? Are you going to be careful? Are you gonna take your time? And do you follow directions? I recommend this for anybody looking to give their Tesla just a little bit of a unique look over all the other Teslas that are out there. Now the DIY Chrome Delete kit through Tesla Bros cost $299, but of course you know I try to get you guys the best deals and I was able to work out a discount through them for a uh, 10% off, which will bring down the cost by $30. And as you know, that's gonna be the cheapest option other than you buying the vinyl and cutting it yourself, which is quite complicated. It's actually, for those of you that do it, I commend you. I'm not saying it can't be done, but this is very easy for anybody to be able to delete the chrome out of their car and give it a unique color. Now, Tesla Bros does sell it in black. I believe they have a satin, a glossy, and a, uh, a matte black finish now. Uh, a custom finish like the one that I got, I would recommend you reach out to Tesla Bros to see if they can do a color that you're looking for. Uh, costs may vary and it might be a little bit different just because you're asking for a custom color, but uh, reach out to them. The guys are awesome. They were able to take care of me. They completely understood what I was looking for. And what I had them do was something a little bit different. So I deleted all the chrome in the car. Uh, that includes the side markers, the passenger and driver upper trim, lower trim, as well as the Tesla badge on the front, the mirrors as well, and that's all of the chrome. However, for the rear trunk chrome badge, I actually ended up removing the badge. And what I did was I ended up getting the Tesla logos. Now, you've seen this before. They sell it at Abstract Ocean, and those are extruded letters. But recently, at the Tesla shareholders event, I got my first close-up glimpse of the 2020 Tesla Roadster. And what I noticed is the Tesla lettering on the rear of the car is not extruded. It's flush with the car. Now I'm pretty sure Tesla's painting that right on the car, but I said, how could I get a very similar look? And what I did was I took the same dark gray vinyl and used that for the Tesla logos. That way it's a flat finish on the car. It's not extruded. There's no needing to clean around the letters when it gets dirty. And it just looks like a flush cleaner design in my opinion. And I put that around the back. I think it looks amazing and I really like my unique look. Now this is just a start. I think I've got a couple other things I'd like to do, but I recommend you guys give your cars a unique look, have them stand out a little bit, whether it be wheels or a color or paint your calipers, I did that, or do a chrome delete. Hit up the guys at Tesla Bros. I was really happy with the work. Now a couple things that you have to keep in mind, like I said before, be patient, take your time, move slowly. Lock it down when you're good and ready. And a lot of the corners, just take your time with. Sometimes, you know, I stopped, I peeled back, I redid the piece, um, and really you know when it's placed exactly how you want it, how to lock it down. Rub it with your finger, start tucking in the edges with the tools that are given, and that will give you the best, cleanest look. Here's looking to see some of your custom Tesla Model 3s and how you guys customize your cars. If you like this video, hit that thumbs up right there. If you haven't already subscribed, go ahead and subscribe, and I'll catch you guys next time. See ya.